Hey guys, had a lot of requests for an update on my pickup truck that has uh, approaching 500,000 miles on it here. Uh, did that video on it a few months ago. You guys saw that it had 418,000 miles on it before we got it wrapped this fall. Uh, got the wrap here, you guys. I don't know if you've seen it since I got the wrap on. Got the wrap put on it and everything. I got this truck in, it's the 2012 model. I bought it in 2013 and I've had it ever since then. And let's check out and see the mileage that it has on it here. Give you guys a little update on the truck. So you can see there we've got uh, 428,713,000 miles on it. it. The steering wheel there is where Elijah bit it out when he was a baby. It took a chunk out of it. But uh, this is my tow vehicle that I'm driving to all the tournaments at this year. So let's talk about it a little okay, bit. Okay guys, gonna have a little talk about the my tow vehicle today and it's really a little talk about tow vehicles in general, sort of give you guys some tips and advice on what my experiences have been because I've been towing a boat since 19. See, I got my first little flat bottom, my 14 foot flat bottom with my uh, uh, 1971 model Datsun beat up pickup in 1977, I think it was when I turned 16. So I've been towing a boat since 1977. So I've got a lot of experience with tow vehicles. But anyway, guys, the truck that I've got here, it's a 1500 Dodge Ram. I got it in 2013. Um, it uh, had it, and like I said, now it's got 428,000 miles on it and uh, still running. I mean, there's a few odds and end things that, you know, I have to do to it. But one of the things that I found out about it is if you take care of your equipment, if you take care of your trucks, they're gonna last a long time. Here's the advice that I will give you guys. The, the big key to longevity in a truck, in my opinion, is like my dad always says, the, the oil is the life of an engine. Make sure you do your oil changes regularly, your services regularly. And the main thing, guys, is when you pull, when you cut, when you pull out, when you get a green light and you pull out from a stoplight, don't be one of those guys that think you got to nail it and get out in front of everybody like a freaking nut job. Just gradually, slowly pull out from an intersection gradually accelerate that's so much better on your transmission you know don't slam on your brakes brakes come to you know a slow stop with that and just you know don't drive too fast just try to keep the speed down to you know just drive the speed limit there's no reason that you have to drive any faster than the speed limit i see so many of these bass anglers out there that just drive super aggressively and it's just hard on your vehicle but the main thing is like one of the things that i found out about is it's like um there's so many dudes out there that think they got to drive a new truck or a newer truck and a tow vehicle is the worst and it's the worst investment that any bass angler can make. It's like, if you want to throw your money away, go buy a new truck out there. You want to, you know, get a freaking $1,500 a month truck payment and, you know, have a truck that costs as much as some people's houses. That's just throwing your money away out there. You know, the greatest thing about my truck, even though it's got 428,000 miles on it, the thing's paid for. I don't have, a, I don't have a, a truck payment that I have to pay every month out there. And that's a big deal, man. It, would, you, would you rather drive an old truck that maybe is not the greatest looking thing or the most perfect thing in the world and not have a payment every month? Or would you rather drive something that looks good that you got a $1,000, $1,500, dollars $1 a month truck payment with and as soon as you purchase the truck off that lot, you're going to devalue at 25%. And it's just a, it's a liability. So the biggest advice that I'll give you guys is don't waste your money buying a new truck or a newer truck out there. Just get you something that's been, been taken care of. Get you something that's got some miles on it and um, just take care of it. Just drive it, drive it really, drive it like you're an 80 year old grandma. That's the biggest advice that I can give you. And it just cracks me up to see these guys out there. We talked about it before in those jacked up pickup trucks with the six inch lift kits on it and the aftermarket exhaust on there thinking they've got to, you know, pass everybody in town and think they got to drive 85 miles an hour on the highway. Just, just get over yourself on that and just drive like a grandma, drive slow. Your truck's going to last you a long time. It's a smart thing to do. It's the, it's the, uh, it's, it's just the adult thing to do. So, Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on the truck. I'm gonna drive this thing until it falls apart. I've got a few leaks on it right now. I think I've got a little power steering leak and you know some some minor stuff, but 
if you just if you just drive it conservatively and you know go slow you know service it when it needs to be serviced don't you know rough around don't be rough on it don't drive it too fast they're going to last you a long time and like i said biggest advice i can give you is don't throw your money away buying a new truck that you've got a big old you know honking payment every month on there it's just not worth it it's just it's a money pit just uh get you something that's uh you know, you don't have to get it jacked up or anything. The tires I got on it, I don't have high, highway tires because I found a, a, a set of tires at a tire shop here in Springfield that was on sale. So the tread that I've got on the tires out there is a little bit more aggressive than I want, but they were on sale. So I was able to get them at a, actually the cheaper price than I could get just a set of new high, highway tires on them. And they've been working out pretty good for me. But anyway, just a quick update on the, on the old truck. Hope you guys are well. We'll talk later.